I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And this is EnjoyTheJourney.life. In our last video, Tom made several mistakes that led to dropping our new RV onto our truck. Now we're going to inspect the damage and see what other challenges are in store for us today. If you haven't seen our last video, you can click the link above or in the video description. We share tips and adventures and sometimes challenges about RV living and traveling full time. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And it was latched. to get this off the truck. Everything okay in the back? Oh. I think I gotta back up a tad. Stop. Connect, connect me there, so I gotta actually go up just a tad or see if I can get this down. Damn it. Truck looks nice. Yeah. Oh my god. Seriously. <sighs> All right. Well, not the way I want to first pull this thing. <sighs> I dropped the RV the very first time pulling it. <sighs> the safety pin was sticking out here, saying it's it's been hitched. And we have no idea what kind of damage has been caused. We can see the visible to the truck here, bending this down here, pretty much crushing the tailgate here to, to show the bend right here. Amazingly, not showing virtually any damage uh -uh. Uh, to the momentum. I think this divot here is normal, right? This divot, because there's yeah, it's one on both sides. Yeah, it's yeah. It's... So I think it's either I made either I made a mistake with this hitch that with the pin being out saying it's locked i was supposed to do something else with this because there's a there is a position here for locking something and so maybe i was supposed to do that too and i just didn't but it seems a little bizarre that that indicated locked if there was some other thing I was supposed to do, but maybe I was supposed to turn it down like that. Well, it says, when white pointer is extended and visible, hitch is locked. Yeah, then, and, but maybe that is not the case. Well, it should be, um, it says that. Right. So anyway, well, it wasn't for us. So, um, of course you get everybody staring over here i could just be happy it's monday and there isn't a campground full of uh <laughs> people like staring 
Yeah. Well, uh, should we look inside? No, let's just wait till we get it over there. We just need to get this done. No, we can't. We can't move. We can't move it without looking inside. Why? We have to look at if anything's like gonna fall or, I mean, okay. yeah, we have to. So one problem, we didn't really put stuff away like really, really secure. For a long travel because right. we we're just going a few spaces over. So this, so this is a scary thought. We didn't prepare for a long travel day. To see what it looks like on the inside after dropping the, tr the RV. Oh, the soda stream is still up in the air. <laughs> okay, well, take a peek in here and we'll get that door closed. Everything looks good right there. Everything looks good there. Oh, fly did come in. Everything looks good over there. Everything's still in the same place. Seriously? Are Even the, the Himalayan lamp is still forward. Yep. Wow. For such a jolt. Seriously. Um, yep. It doesn't mean that there isn't I know. something that we're not aware of, but I guess I'm going to have to go in the back side to take a look in there. Looks good. Everything's still upright. <laughs> that is incredible. Do we need to stop for a breather just to kind of regroup? Yeah, before moving it, yeah, for sure. All right, now to check back here where stuff was, I mean, I had the printer just sitting on the table. I even left these sitting up and I was gonna move them down. I mean, you'd even worry about like glass yeah. shattering, Yeah. you know, that, but everything looks exactly like it was. I mean, it, it, it could cause anything. I mean, it's like, we'll probably have to have a general inspection of everything, tanks, yeah, just, I don't know, everything. It looks like the truck didn't sustain any damage underneath here. Um, I believe the springs are supposed to look that way. There's nothing different to indicate that it's locked? Well, there is something on here that states, um, like, uh, Look at the locking jaw to make certain it is closed and latched, but I the locking jaw was was in the position that I that I thought was locked and latched. Customer service line. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Second warranty, this is Brianna. How can I help you? Uh yeah, you cover uh husky fifth wheel hitches? Yeah. Okay. I am hooking up my fifth wheel uh, trailer and I have a Husky adjustable easy roller fifth wheel hitch. Okay. And the trailer slipped off and dropped uh, the first time and I'm trying to figure out why, what what I did wrong. Okay. Uh, I, I, okay. I, I hooked it up, the white little pin popped out say it says when white pointer is extended and visible hitch is locked is that right the last step you have the head to 16k and it has a wraparound jaw uh, it's a 24k it's a 24 okay and it has the wraparound uh yes can i put you on hold for one quick second sure i i still don't know if it's a user error or there's a problem with with the hitch. A malfunction. Yeah, I, I don't know. Our goal is to please you. Our staff is here to work with you. <laughs> it would please me not to have this music playing. Yes, it lo it locked in that it locked in that little white pointer was sticking out. You could accidentally we call it high pinning, where you're not ramping up and basically dropping the kingpin on top of the hitch. It could trigger the mechanism to where it's gonna show that it's locked, but your kingpin is not in the jaw. I mean, I, I saw the arm across the back. Is that what you're talking about? The locking arm was across the back of the of the pin. 
Right, locking it into the head. Right. Once that's there, right, yeah. is that the final? Is that the final step, or is there another step? Okay, so sometimes that pops but open. If you just back up and you know hit the hitch head, and you see the indicator, and you think that you're locked, you know you're hooked up, and you're not. You probably high pinned it. It probably wasn't locked in place, and that's how you dropped your trailer. But I can get these photos sent over to you, and we can take a look at it if you have time. If you could shoot them back over to me within the next 20 minutes, we'll take a look at it, and I'll be right back in contact with okay, you. Okay, yeah, that would be great. I'm calling Mark, the seller. This is Mark. Oh, hey, Mark. Uh, did I, this is Tom. Did I catch you at a good time? Um, yeah, say, uh, I'm... Well, that must have been you that sent a text to Clear, whoever did. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry I got you confused with the uh, RV repair guy I was uh, working with. Um, oh, you getting your washer and dryer moved over? Yeah, uh, I'm uh, trying to figure out this hitch. When I back into it, I got the white pointer sticking out, um... And what's what's like the next step? Uh, the snap, did the handle snap in when you backed into it? Um, I I believe so. Uh, yeah, then you should, should be able to take that handle off and move the pin in to the next hole. Then it'll be locked in. Okay. Um, yeah, if there's a space between that handle pipe and the other one, you know, like three inches, then it's not latched in. You know, you had to have it set in that one notch so the screen will pull it in. But if, if that, I think if the white pointer's on, it has to be in, so. Oh, so if the, can, if the white pointer is out, it's definitely locked? It should be, yes. Have you ever had that fail? No. No, because either it's in or it's out. Yeah, I know it's out. Okay, huh. So the handle, if you pull that pin then and take the handle off. And there's another set of holes just in from there. Right, I I see that. And is that kind of a safety so that the arm doesn't open back up? Yep, yep. No, I just put the runaway brake around, around that before I put the pin in there. Oh, okay. Okay, I will, uh, I will try. Sounds like you're on the right track. Uh, yeah, I will try that, uh, and, uh. Just take, a, take a picture of that, uh, handle, uh, where that pin is. Send it to me and I'll tell you if it's in the right spot or not. Okay, great. I, I will, uh, I will do that then. All right. Okay. Thanks, Mark. You bet. All right, bye. So did you learn anything else new? Um... Well, so he, I mean, it's possible like that white thing was out, but maybe it's supposed to be out farther. Like how far is out? Well, it's in right now. Yeah. So, and it popped out that yeah, right but, there, but like, you can't even see it. But what if it's supposed, it was out like that. So what if it, it was, so it was out like that, but what if it was supposed to be out like that? No, it's in, it's either in or it's out. I mean, it's in right now, yeah, obviously. But, but there's different variations of in and out. Well, let's try it again. You know, well, yeah, we can try it again. So that should be good. I'm gonna, tr I'll try try that I don't it's a slightly different position I I mean either way I, I I'll try that though just yeah but it's in the way stay back wait the jaw is in the way no that's not the main jaw is it gonna move We're yeah gonna it's, it's gonna move all right and it's supposed to be above or below it, it will lock underneath right here. Okay. So. All right, let's do this. Yeah, just don't be too close. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, the pin came out. 
Yeah. But what I don't think I have, we can check footage to see what position this was in. Now the part that I'm being told is to take this out here and put it right there. So it doesn't put, turn. Put this safety, the safety brake right. on, on here. That's like an extra, an extra thing. Yeah, but that's not gonna do anything for what we're doing right now. That's just if you're going down a highway right. and you disconnect or whatever. Yeah, it's the ocean break. So, we... so the only difference is a handle and the way it's pointed and where that pin is. Is that pin locking it so the handle doesn't move? Yeah, so this will not pop out. So everything um, looks correct. Yeah. Do you want to test it? You're going to stay up there? Um, no because if it comes out this thing's coming down on me or it's going to pull me down my tailgate's not looking too good nope well just make sure it make sure it's not gonna come down and get and damage the rv i think it's gonna be okay ride okay that way all right so the levelers the the front do you have that up a couple inches so i'm, I'm gonna bring it down hey gosh that seems like it's crushing the truck it's a heavy thing it does each one of these individually so it kind of it's kind of wonky that way Oh, this is stressful. I don't like this at all. Yeah, no, no kidding. Oh, and see, then you got a grand design makes a hell of a product. I mean, look at that. It's just a little tiny mark right here. Not, I mean, my truck is crushed, but this is just barely, could, looks like it could be buffed out right there. That's crazy. Well, we'll try. We've got the back jacks uh, still down just a tad off the ground, but still basically touching. So we're going to try a safety tug, which is recommended, which uh, would have helped if I had done that. So let's try that. But don't go far. I won't. <laughs> okay. Looks good. It looks good. So you want to roll out a little bit and see what happens? Just go super slow and listen to me? Yeah, I mean, we need your walk. Looking good. If you start making a turn, I'm going to have to go to the back. Everything looks good. I'm just scared to leave to watch. You can you watch it? Yeah, I can try. I got it looks good. All right, I'm gonna go head to the back. I would think that it was gonna pull out. It would have by now.
As Tom was trying to unhitch, he discovered another problem. Well, the white, the white locking indicator is like out about a half an inch. What does that mean? Okay. Okay, thanks, Mark. Bye. Stay tuned for the next episode when we figure out the real hitch problem.